Welcome back. 625 is the time and it's time for today's talker. It's all about M&M's and comedian and actress Maya Rudolph is going to take over the job of representing M&M candies. Why, you ask? Yeah, parent company Mars says the partnership with Rudolph has been in the works for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she replaces the brand <laughs> Spokes Candies, those animated M&Ms that walk and talk and have colorful personalities. Mars said it decided to take an indefinite break from the Spokes Candies after recent changes to the character sparked backlash last year. M&M's unveiled a new look, for example, changing the green character's shoes from go-go boots to sneakers. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this. It's crazy. Then in September, M&M's announced a new character, a purple spokes candy. That changed prompt that change, I should say, prompted another round of criticism. Maya Rudolph's first ad appearance will be during the Super Bowl on February 12th. Before we move on to the Oscars, I just say they also said we changed the shoes. We didn't realize that would be polarizing, mm -hmm. uh, which was the last thing M&M's wanted to do. We didn't know we were going to break the Internet with these changes. Yeah. So uh, they, they thought they were making a few minor changes and now they've had to make a major change. No, yeah. but I, I'm I so glad that Maya Rudolph, I love Maya Rudolph. Yeah, she's hilarious. She's so funny. I just like Eminem. You know? like, me too. I like her. Yeah. What's better. the movie where she, the Bridesmaid? Bridesmaid. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right here in Milan. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Worst yeah. candies over that. there at the, yeah. the uh, <laughs> public market. Yes. Okay, well, now we got to switch things up because, yes, we've been told to talk about the Oscars. Nominations will be announced for uh, this morning for Hollywood's biggest night. Some of the movies expected to receive Oscar nominations are The Fablemans, Top Gun Maverick, Avatar, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yeah, and Austin Butler is expected to receive an acting nomination for starring in Elvis. And Brendan Fraser is expected to receive a nomination for The Whale. The Oscars will be held on Sunday, March 12th, and Jimmy Kimmel will return to host the show for the third time. And going back to Bridesmaid, I just realized uh, we we <laughs> saw back. we all saw the same movie. Typically, uh, oh yeah. yeah. typically one person yeah. sees it or two. Yes. I was gonna say because uh, Simone has not seen uh, any movie. Anything? That okay, call me out. <laughs> but that is true. But Bridesmaid, I, I have seen Bridesmaids literally probably like yeah, dozens of it's times. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. 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 she lives on Kinnikinnick uh, down there in yeah. Bayview, technically. Um, one of the things I was also noticing there, usually when the Oscar nominations come around, like I've never seen any of the movies. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't seen any of them. This year, I've seen Elvis and I've seen uh, Top Gun Maverick, so I'm going in a little bit of ahead of other years. Oh, wow. I think, I think I've only seen ahead. Top Gun. I've heard great yes, things same. about The Whale, but I, I, I don't want to watch it because I feel like I'm going to cry during that moment. Oh, <laughs> but I'm one, happy for Brendan Fraser. Yeah, that should be good. I don't know, have you guys done, have you, once things are nominated, or like once yeah. they get those top, do you try to watch those? Like yeah, maybe. After? Yeah. I don't know. Some of the, I mean, but obviously Depends. those are, you know, they're not blockbuster movies more often than not, so yeah. sometimes they, you know, you can cry or they can just be hard to watch too and just be impacted after that.